All right, so before we get started, this isn't one of those videos where I'm going to be testing this and going through all the jazz with it. This is just a, uh, I guess, a preamble to my short videos where I'll be testing this. Uh, I just want to explain to the people who pay attention why I bought this and uh, things of that nature. So, uh, like I said, don't want to waste anyone's time. This is just a quick preview. So, the reason I bought this is because I've always used quarter-inch drivers in the past. Um, I'm a forklift mechanic these things and uh i spent a lot of time pulling panels off and this little quarter inch guy with the uh, three eighths adapter on it it always served me well uh 10 millimeters up to 15 millimeters it'll it'll pull them out all day um the thing is with this one it's it lacks a lacks power i mean it does what it needs to do but it kind of lacks power and i often have to go to uh this guy which i mean it's just fucking huge and it's heavy and i would like to find something that's in between this guy and this guy um if you were wondering this is the dcf 809 quarter inch driver it's one of the older ones as far as the atomic goes but um yeah like i said no no complaints with this it does what it, sh it should do it actually does more um but like i said this kind of fills the gap when i bought this the more powerful 3.8 stubbies. They weren't even really that stubby, to be honest with you. Uh, they didn't exist. And um, there was really nothing nothing in between something of that nature and something of this nature. So I seen this. It's been bouncing off, bouncing around the internet. Uh, a lot of a lot of channels are testing it. It seems to be a pretty uh, pretty scoop skookum uh, tool to uh, quote AVE there. And um, yeah, tor torque test channel on their little test rig there. I think they got it up to 320 foot pounds in reverse. So, I mean, they're, they're claiming 450. It's, it's, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration. I have seen a few people torque bolts to 450 and use this to crack it loose. So, I mean, you never know on the internet. Some of these people are paid to do this. But, um, yeah, so uh, this guy right here, a little, little quick overview on it. This is just a one and a half amp hour battery i'll probably use the uh the two on this one or from that one and um yeah it's basically i mean you got the trigger forward reverse lock in the center uh you got the leds a little flash of light going there and it also has a couple of different intensities as far as the leds go and if you look down here you have uh three modes uh one and two th these are just basically rpm uh selectors then you got this lag screw um i i really can't find too much information on what that mode does if you know what it does drop it in the comments uh a lot of people just kind of skip over that i'm not going to pretend like i know and then you got this here one that looks just like a machine bolt and apparently that is a torque limiting mode and i have tested that and what it does is basically gives you full speed until it starts it starts putting out the ugga duggas and then it'll actually stop or pause i should say so that mode would actually be good for when i'm like like setting up rims i usually go around the star pattern just to set the rim without actually driving them in then once the rim is set and the lugs are set in place then i go in with the full with the full lug of dugga so biggest reason i'm looking to exchange this for this well first and foremost the obvious reason is is that it will get into a lot tighter places i mean we're talking roughly an inch and three quarter less maybe maybe an inch and seven eighths something that matter it matter um i already spoke about it but the the increase in power which will be nice and a lot of the times too when i'm doing certain jobs that require big bolts to be uh taken out this guy it, it just won't do it i mean like i said it's not meant to do it and i gotta grab this guy which these things any any half inch high torque uh impact gun they, they all weigh a freaking ton and i'm already carrying a bag that's got like 70 pounds of tools in it and then i gotta lay this on top of it if i could avoid carrying this around i'd like to i mean this of course isn't going to be replaced it's got more more kick than this guy but you know i mean that, that's kind of where i'm at with it so i will be on my short videos uh as the opportunities arise to give this a try 
where I would normally use this. I also have an adapter for this coming. Um, it's a low profile adapter. I'll, I'll post that in my shirts as well. Uh, three eighths to half inch so I could use the uh, half inch impact socket. So like I was saying, when the opportunity arises for me to use this in place of this, I'll post it on my shorts and uh, yeah, we'll see how it does. Um, I got I got high hopes for it. Anything that has to uh, keep me from lugging this big friggin' thing around uh, is a benefit. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, yeah, like I said, keep an eye on my shorts and we'll be testing this as we go.